All right. So we're going to give it a minute and wait for folks to jump on in and uh, get this party started. Okay. Got a lot to share. Anderson. Uh, all you got to do is, there we go, review request, there we go. Anderson, did you, did you up, uh, there we go. Right, how you doing? for this thing to kick in. I'm all right, man, I'm hanging in there. How are you? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm trying to. You hear me? Okay, copy, copy that. Let me just. Maybe hey, it's nice. the. Um, because I'm trying something new. Okay. Right, this lab system. So let me see if it works when I. So I can so I can monitor. Oh wow! Technically, okay. I don't hear you. <laughs> I see Derek. Derek, you jumping in? Request to join, Derek. Request to join, brother. Okay. 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 Got Derek's going to join us. Remember Derek? Okay. So, uh, you should be requesting, and then we get this part. There's a lag, he says. Okay, all right. We got to give him a minute. This is that technical God, boy, you're stuff. Not we got to work lying. out here. And, uh, all right. All right. This thing should get me going so I can at least hear you guys. Uh, all right. I'll say there's no lag. Say something? Lying. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be damned. All right. Well, this is interesting. All right. Let me do it like I this. Can hear you. How's that? All right. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. yeah I don't have We're a lag in on my end. Yeah. I'm noticing that uh, mm -hmm. when you do connect it while live, it um, disconnects gotcha. what I can hear from you, but you can hear me. I like the quality of this. <clears throat> But then, um, yeah. obviously, if I not can't hear all. you, that's not going <laughs> to help me out. <laughs> hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, checking on in. And once we get Derek right. on board, we get this conversation started. Okay. I, invi I invited him oh. on here. Hello, hi, Amy. Amy. No, Thank you. I do not. I just you know Amy? Said hi, so I'm being cordial. Well, you know what? <laughs> there you go. Oh, brother, that's that's the way to do it. Uh, it's, it mm. could be my followers, could be yours. I don't know who, uh, but let's just yeah, that's right. Let's be respectful Absolutely. and thank everybody for for coming on in. Um, we're gonna be talking about the recap of the okay. previous workshop I just hosted at my studio. This is the first workshop I've hosted. Thank you again, Amy. I really appreciate your support. Tuning in, checking in, saying hi, say, giving you a waves. Um, and I, 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 I'd love to. He says he sent the request. Okay, well, let me see what that. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, All right he's about to jump in right now. Hey, what's, what's happening, going on? Twelve twenty. What's up, man? How you doing? Thank you very much, brother. What's hey. Up, <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on? I ain't seen y'all in a minute. You're right, Dad. Your hair's. Uh, why does it look different? You let it, you let you let your hair, I let my hair down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look like a like a lion's mane and shit. <laughs> uh, well, I, um, I want to thank you both for tuning in. You know, for uh, joining on this conversation um, because uh, I really got inspired quite honestly, with you, Anderson, because of what you were mentioning to me at the end as mm -hmm. well as after the workshop. And for those that know, we did a, well, I hosted a studio uh, por studio lighting for portraits workshop at my studio in Berkeley. And um, it, it went really well. We had a lot to do. I Honestly, as much as I hope you learned from that experience, I okay. learned a lot as well, right? And, and as Derek knows, because Derek, um, I've been helping him and mentoring him for over a year now, a year? Yeah, it's, well, it's over a year. Oh, okay. I think it's about a couple yeah. of years, actually. Good Lord. Okay, well, don't, don't be putting my business out there now. <laughs> uh, but so with that said, um, I'm always trying to learn, right? 
quickly change to improve, but most importantly, add value for those who come attend. Because I appreciate people who attend my workshops, and I want to make sure they leave a little bit better than when they came, right? Um, I don't like that. I think I mentioned I don't like doing the, what do you call mm. it, those group shoots and stuff. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's a money grab, quite honestly. And mm. I'd rather teach you how to get the models you want so that you don't have to, like, you know, yeah. you, you can work work on your own speed and learn learn without the pressure. But anywho, um, <clears throat> so with that said, uh, Anderson, you know, before you came to the workshop, where were you, and you know, a, as a photographer? And then uh, what made you say, you know what, this um, might be something I can learn <clears throat> from? Well, I, firstly, I was mostly just doing street photography. And then I got a little bit stagnant in that because uh, a couple of things happened in my life where I was kind of stationary. And um, I just started watching Madden videos, and that's when I discovered Lindsay Adler, who you mentioned in the workshop. And I just really just loved what she was doing, like the colors, the concepts, like the grandiose things that mm, she was doing with her art, right. with her work. And I was like, okay, you know what? Damn, maybe I should just try to take this step into portraiture. And uh, I had a lot of friends who are natural light photographers who were telling me, like, you know, they kind of discouraged me from going into flash. And um, and I was like, okay, well, whatever. I just dove head first into it because you know, mama ain't raised no punk. I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just jumped. That's in right. Like That's right. right. Um, but to answer your question, man, where I was was really like on that little, little teeter toe, like that little, that fine line of where it's it. Some things click, but then other things work. I can watch thousands of hours of videos, but actually being in there, like with like with Derek and with you, and having yes. something tangible to touch watching someone set up their lights, watching like all of that, seeing it was a lot different than being, or, or excuse me, watching it on YouTube. So I would say that I was just a hair under an intermediate. Um, but after that workshop, bro, like yeah. I'm really ready to just dive head first into the water. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like jump like, in it's really just practice. Like you said, Okay, you know what I mean? So that, that, that's, so I was that's right. intermediate, but now I feel like, I'm that dude now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, right on. Like I can do it. You know <laughs> that, what I mean? It, it's funny that you say that because uh, I believe I said at the beginning, I was like, look, you're not going to be a master, yeah. but you will leave yeah. more confident. Mm -hmm. And that I think is like the major, like if, if, if photographers who are at the, uh, at the uh, blessed ability to be able to be an instructor or, or, or an influencer of some sort, that mm -hmm. should be the most realistic approach uh that um and and that's what separate remember what i said what separates that's professional it. and non-professional is the consistency right so uh, uh, so these workshops you're attending help you to not only ask the questions yeah. and get real-time feedback on problems that are going on right now but also for you to gain that confidence and that's why um yeah, yeah. I, I was like yeah. speak to the models mm -hmm. talk to them you know they're human yeah. And yeah. models get bored, okay? They're human and uh you're the yeah. you're the conductor of this train, right? And and I, and, and Derek, you know, we, we go back and forth very regularly uh <laughs> about like, hey, you try this, do that, do this, do that. Mm -hmm. But I see his photos are improving. Yeah. I see his feed and I'm like, man, this is what's up. this is what it's about. And I'm glad to hear that. <clears throat> The most important thing for me was that mm -hmm. I just kept, I just didn't stop shooting. And yeah, I knew better, well, yeah. eventually I'll get better. I mean, that's just, it's by numbers. Right? Yeah. Am, am I right, Derek? I mean, how do you feel? Yeah, it's definitely by numbers. Uh, I think once you get into it and you start to see what you've done mm -hmm. and then kind of go over the things that you've already done and then seeing yeah. how much you can practice to make it better. And I always think of it like this, mm -hmm. like you practice, practice, mm -hmm. and then practice how to practice. So that's right. Uh, you, you get a chance to uh, practice that and then move on to the next thing. And then when you move on to the next thing, you figure it out like, oh, yeah. well, I've done this already before. So uh, let me kind of implement some of the things that I learned before into this actual new yeah. uh, way to practice. That's and 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 you know what's a good thing about the workshop uh is that you hear yeah. from the other photographers that are attending yeah how do they shoot what they use uh their approach right and me i like to get people out two things i like to <laughs> yeah. do get people out of their comfort zone and yeah. derek knows i keep it real like i'm gonna yeah. call you on your shit, right 
and uh and, and that's what I did. You know, I did that on one of our workshop attendees. I said, hey, it's great, but uh, you know, but uh, but the thing is that it's like um, we need that, and I need it too. Trust me. And sometimes I even have to call Derek and be like, "Yo, is uh, something frustrating, etc." Yeah. You just need somebody you could trust to bounce off of, and that's yeah. what I hope yeah. these workshops provide. Right now, let, let's let's talk about the. Um, yes. So you're doing street photography, right? Now, street photography. Portrait, uh, totally still people, different. but how were you? What was most nervous for you um, to, when you before, came? Like before, oh, before I came, you came, just trying to get light right. Like, like I would, it was just so in my head of like getting mm. light right. And you posted something the other day in relation to the workshop about like doubt, how doubt will fuck you up, right? And and not uh, and I'll add <laughs> a caveat to that. Also right on. Me, you know what I mean? Because like it. And I, I found myself just crippling there. So, like, going into this thing, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to be a sponge, right? I just want to go in there, and I'm just going to soak up game. I've watched a thousand hours of videos. Now I just want to go up in here and actually <laughs> see it and see what's popping. So, like, for me, where I was, like, like, the most thing that I was most afraid of was that I was going to be the least healed in there, which I was. But then I, but, it, but you, everybody in there <laughs> didn't make me feel like that. Like, I didn't feel like I walked in and I was being judged. And um, your class, the workshop didn't feel like a money grab. It felt like, well, I'm not going to say it felt like because you did do it. But it felt like you genuinely wanted to help us become better photographers. And, like, I got that feeling. Like, you even went over on the time. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, so it was, like, it was cool. Yeah. So, like, whatever yeah. I felt before I went in there, I don't even remember it. You know what I mean? You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like, so. Well, that's I felt awesome. very well. That's that's them. awesome. Uh, very cool. And uh, and you know what? A few. I, I like mm -hmm. I said, it was a learning process for me too. And I think uh, any good teacher, Whoa. leader, yeah. etc., is a good listener, right? And uh, you you saw some yeah, real absolutely. time problem yeah. solving happening with the. But light. I like that though. That's what I wanted to see. <laughs> it made me be like, oh shit, okay, because I. I had the same issue trying to work it out, you know. Because I mean? that would have, that's right. You would, that's yeah. part of your job is to be a problem solver. The model, the client hires yeah. you because you know how to solve X problems yeah. and they want the mm -hmm. result. Remember I said they pay you for results. And uh, and yeah. it does help yeah. when you have an yeah. assistant like Derek. You know, I, I asked him, I was like, yeah. Well, that's I a, like, model, and a <laughs> model and uh, experience there. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> But you know what? Um, keep your cool. Work yeah. under pressure. These are all the tools of the trade of any craftsman, whether it be whatever trade you are. These are all synonymous yeah. to successful uh, people. And um, no, don't 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 <laughs> don't think I wasn't sweating. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> but mm -hmm. so it happens to the best of us, and um, I'm glad you appreciated seeing. How the mm -hmm. how the how the yeah, uh, cookie absolutely. is made, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, behind the scenes. Now, uh, what camera do you use, and what's your um, favorite camera? The camera that I use is my Sony A seven R two, and the lenses that I use the oh. most. Well, for street photography, okay. for, for street photography, I mostly use my fifty. Um, and then I, I watched a video of a dude named Tyler oh, okay. and he goes out and does street photography with an eighty five. So I was like, well, shit, that sounds crazy. Let me go try that. And then I kind of like shooting with the 85 for street <laughs> photography as well um but for portraiture as you saw when i came to the workshop because i've got it beat into my head that's another thing i need to stop learning like the rules are meant to be broken i was yeah. told that like if you're doing portraiture you got to right. 85 you got to do an 85 but i saw that when i was in that workshop that 85 was too tight that's when i used to just it like well maybe you should break out your 50 and i was like all right let me break out that 50 and i saw like oh shit like because that's another thing learning about your space, learning how to use your space and those lenses That's and right. everything is based off of that. So, um, but to answer your question, I would say if I had to pick a favorite lens, it would be that 85 one point mm -hmm. G Master joint for the Sony. All right, <laughs> and Derek, uh oh, drum roll. <laughs> we, I know, but what? Tell the world, let the world know. <laughs> Oh, I I use a GFX. I use a medium format camera. So uh, it's definitely different from the crop sensors that I've been using. Okay. Um, it's a little slower. Um, 
obviously I, I stick with the, the, the kit lens, so I didn't have to be stuck in a focal length that I didn't really like. Yeah. Um, but it worked out really well. Um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. it is a little slow to the point where uh, the models, you know, mm -hmm. they get, like you said, they get kind of bored. They like, hurry it up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it definitely works with a lot of portraiture work and a lot of uh, editorial work. So that's yeah. why I ended up getting it. Okay. Uh, and hopefully um, I can, you know, get more into um, into that kind of stuff. So uh, it, it worked out pretty yeah, well. I, I'm, I'm cool. not going to lie. I like sure. it. And yeah. how did the, uh, when you brought it home and put it up in Lightroom or Capture One, I think you used, mm -hmm. uh, how was, how, how did everything turn out? Oh man, it was crisp. It was really Ooh. crisp. You know, <laughs> better, uh, better be. <laughs> being back at, at 70 millimeters and you, you're further back away from the model, right? Um, you, when you zoom in to like a hundred percent, you have all kinds of leeway with oh. that. You still get details. Uh, you still uh, see the pores in the people's face. Uh, nice. Um, you can get and recover a lot of light. You can recover a lot of shadows. Um, it, it turned out pretty well. I like the I like the versatility I can use it for. So right on. Uh, I'm gonna keep on with that one. So. <laughs> and 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 kind of like what I touched base in the uh, in the workshop in terms of communication. So at the beginning of your shoots, just communicating with the models, saying, "Look." The, this is this is the tempo we're gonna set, you know, so that they can uh, um, at least be receptive to the pace, right? Mm -hmm. And know that like, okay, he needs an extra second. Um, obviously showing them, previewing what you yeah. got, so that kind of juices them up, like, okay, the process is working, they're, they're, they're trust, because you build trust, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. When you're showing those photos. And, and and don't be afraid to use that voice. Like remember when things yeah. are kind of getting crazy sometimes? I was like, Arr! this is how it's going down, folks. And trust me, the models only feed gotcha. to that. They they want that more mm -hmm. than ever. They they mm -hmm. want to know you're in control as a creative, and um and you're they are your muse. They are your palette, Damn. right? Or what, what do they call it? Canvas. Excuse me. And um. And and they will trust you to to create the whatever is in your mind. Uh, but most importantly, is you you have to at least know yeah. the direct. You have to give some direction, right? So with that medium format, because I've seen a lot of great. For, oh gosh, I can't think of the guy's name, but he shoots for them. He's shooting for Vanity Fair, and he shoots with a Phase One. So <laughs> yeah, That's even slower. <laughs> yeah. So so and his pictures look like a work of. Bart, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I know if he could figure it out, I know for sure you can. Um, obviously, with this, mm. I use his yeah. nine, so it's like click, click, click. I can just click all damn day. <laughs> so, um, but trust me, some models, uh, one of our models, right? Shout out yeah, to uh, Nefertiti, she moves very quick, right? Mm -hmm. Cause, believe it or not, um, after you all left, we stayed Whoa. for another two hours, oh, you, like mm -hmm. it just went you and Nefertiti? bonkers, right? Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, we just stayed for another two hours. I thought it would be one look, and I went to another look, and I, I, start, I left lightheaded and hungry, let me tell you. It turned, turned out well, though, uh, the okay. looks and the uh, the outfits, uh, yeah, everything. everything. It turned out, out really good. Well. But the most important thing is that yeah. she moves very quickly. So you yeah. have to, like, throw that yeah. lasso and be like, hey, hold on, this is how I work. Some people could just keep on going. That's great, Mazel tov, if that's the way your flow goes. But you just got to communicate so that you're in control. Because guess what they want? They want good photos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if they know that your prerogative is like, hey, hold on, so I can get the good stuff. You're doing a great job. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you bring them back down to your level. You know what I mean? And that'll instill some confidence for you, Anderson, even though you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're getting into the portrait game, right? And then, because uh, mm -hmm. trust and believe it, yeah. they talk. They could be your, your models out there. If you if you see this, they're the could yeah, be your and best. I see that a lot when I when I see photos of uh, of some chicks, and they'll put that. They're like, shout out to so and so. Oh, I was so fun working with this guy. Exactly. Like, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you get that get that experience. Exactly. Hey, shout out to uh Tony Pop yo, Diva, Miss Susie, Juan Light. I mean, I've got a list here, man. I'm not yeah. sure if you guys yeah, see this. Yeah, I, I see it. You guys see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So shout out to everybody. Ariel. Oh, oh she's a stylist. She's a dope stylist right there. Ariel, shout out to you. We're, we got. I've been trying to plan a shoot with her. That's she's good thing. That's good for her. You know? Uh, so, yeah, well, and busy. Yeah, yeah, that's good for her, <laughs> bad for me. So, no. so I only got an hour. I only got an you hour, so maybe a, maybe a half hour. <laughs> but she's great. She's a great stylist. She has a good okay. eye, super chill vibe. So if you need a, a stylist, go follow her. Seriously, guys, she's pretty okay. dope. Ariel, right there. You need to holler at her. Anyway, um, now Derek. Okay, so what 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 did you take away from this like what what were some things that you were like okay i, I picked up a, a something or two what, what what was that for you um for me uh it was uh as you remember the, the first uh workshop that oh, i no. did with you yeah um uh, that was outside in natural light so this one obviously is different this one's in the uh, studio so uh me learning more about how to use flash mm -hmm. and um, uh, the amount of flash, the quality of light that you use during the flash. Yeah. Um, and also just how you work with the workshop, you know. Uh, the you organization, get, everything. Yeah, everything was good. Everything from the presentation, um, Thank you. how you uh, put together a whole uh, slideshow mm -hmm. of all the things that you had, that you wanted to go over. Um, that was, that was a nice learning experience, uh, for that as well, but also, um, learning or, or recognizing, uh, models, they learn on a fly and, um, um, Venusa, she learned pretty well. She started getting her own flow going and then that kind of, you know, Shoots her up. yeah, that added to the whole, uh, photography shoot. So, right on. uh, that was definitely a, a learning mm -hmm. experience. I, I really want to do it again. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't worry, brother. 2023. Yeah, yeah. and I'll assist. You know, I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to let you know, um, yeah, they were great models. I learned a lot too. One is that I'm going to further improve on my um, mm -hmm. on my uh, PDF. Yeah, that, yeah. That you, yeah. you got yours, right, Anderson? You got yours. Um, and th tomorrow. Derek is kind enough to come down to the studio, and we're gonna install a nice. fifty-five inch. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna graduate from my yeah. laptop to the fifty-five. So you're gonna be tethered into the TV. Okay. So so yeah, yep. I'll be tethered into the TV. That's literally yeah. why I'm getting it. I don't need Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I'll have Netflix there, but I don't need it. You know what I mean? But it'll be for it's for this. It's so like a shoot tethered, and when I go live, because I'm going, I'm not sure if you, if you follow me on YouTube, mm -hmm. but uh, I just posted today that I'll be going live on the 18th at 1130 a.m. with a fashion designer. So we're going to do a fashion shoot and then we're going to have a discussion okay. talking about working with a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. So that'll be live on YouTube. So I want to do more stuff like that. Again, providing more value for you guys. So when I, um, I have, uh, like I, I think I told you, beauty photography okay. workshop we're going to do. We're going to do some, uh, I may even do like a, a creative of lighting yeah, that would yeah. be super fun with gels and stuff that'd be a dope mm. workshop actually <clears throat> and we got to do one thing i noticed is that i'm actually going to go even further yeah. back to the basics because i noticed what i noticed um the takeaway for me was like you know what i need to, i need to slow down the process even more right and further explain everything because i noticed that Two, or three, two, two out of uh, most of you, this, mm -hmm. this was their first time in the studio. So uh, it, I actually apologize. I, I'm going to further slow down and okay. break down what's going on, right? I, try, I think I did that with the hairline. I was like, oh, two to one aspect ratio. But I'm going to further explain those particular things, lighting, ratio, uh, uh, lighting ratios um, and, and some other basic okay. stuff, inverse square law, et cetera. And then I'm going to go go down, like, <clears throat> um, the use mm. of the power of the lighting. I think I'm going to really try okay. to help you understand the fundamentals. Because if we just hurry up and shoot and you see me set up, then it's like, gotcha. okay, but how did he get there? Then how did I get, how can I get there with my gear, right? And um, so I'm going to slow it down 
and 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 be more um, uh, precise with okay. what I want to share with all of you. So that so I, I'm that learning is. from you is basically what I'm saying. So so you trust me, I really am. And believe it or not, I got I lasted all day, even though that morning I woke up at 4 a.m. and I was tired, bro. I was like, oh my god, please mm -hmm. let today hurry up and get past me. But <laughs> you guys really, I got pumped up as you were showing up, got your cameras yeah. out ready to go. I was like, oh, it's about the game time. Yeah. So, so now, um, Anderson, have you done any natural not, light portraits? I have not. I have not done anything natural light. Oh. I mean, I've taken. I mean, outside of maybe in, in doing my street photography, but an actual portrait, portrait, no, nah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And 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 Derek, Derek, I know you have your own strobes, mm -hmm. right? What do you prefer when you do portraits, natural light or some artificial? What What, what do you do? Um, I like natural light only because uh, once you, I mean, if it's a clear day, uh -huh. you pretty much uh -huh. have a, a leeway. The only thing different is, uh, you know, the different time of the day where the light quality is different. Um, but I do also like to add a little uh, pop of flash in the natural light so I can kind of get little, uh, areas here and there. Fill in also, the, uh -huh. Yeah, fill. And yeah. then I use my reflector. Yeah. My reflector is my friend. So okay. uh, uh, unfortunately, you can't control the reflector's light. Only you can you can feather the light, but you can't control the light. Um, so you kind of, it, it's kind of here and there. But if you do it a lot, then like, you know, I've done it more often um, than before, so I know how to use it. And right. yeah, I like more. I'm, I like more natural light, but if I can get more into the into yeah. the studio, yeah, for sure, huh? Yeah, okay. That's a different uh, creative uh, mindset, so that that helps me uh, be a little bit more creative in general. So yes, it does. Uh, that's one of the biggest benefits. Shout out to Sean Trackwiz. Uh, he's a phenomenal well person, but also model mm. he's we've done i think four shoots now he's fucking awesome so if you need a male model that like brings it uh right there track with, check him out follow him dude is legit he's great and he photographed the light loves his bone but structure it's great hashtag good, more, he, more, mo more male models hashtag more he's uh, a straight up man. no he's legit yeah. like legit i'm not sure if he got signed but i know he used some of my photos to submit to an agency mm. I can't mm -hmm. remember if he got signed by them, but okay. he's he's agency worthy. He's dope. He's really good. So check nice. him out. Anyway, yeah, no, I, I'm just trying to definitely. show love to people on the you, know, you definitely don't come off as arrogant. You know what I mean? And I and I dig that because I've done classes with people and I've been in circles with with I don't know. They just dick. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like straight up, bro. Like yeah, they're just dick. And I'm just <laughs> like, dude, I get it. You've been doing photography forever. I'm just starting out. There was a point, unless you were just a prodigy, that you were where I am. So get over yourself. Um, <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, absolutely. hundred percent. I always mm -hmm. say we all start at zero, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. my first dude, mm -hmm. okay, look, now we're talking about lighting. Okay, I got a story for you. I bought, like, I think it was 250, 300, uh, it was some <laughs> bullshit-ass three-light setup, okay? 60-watt mm -hmm. each strobe. Piece of crap, uh, light studio, mount light studio. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the. It's a cheap brand, <laughs> cowboy light studio, something like that. It was the most piece of crap combo kit from Amazon. I thought I was. Yeah, you're ready. I thought I was in full <laughs> swag mode with this thing, right? Yeah, I thought I was. I was like World Watch out, right? You said sixty watts, huh? <laughs> you said sixty watts, like a light bulb, sixty watts. Uh, each strobe. That's right, That's brother. Crazy. Wow. I, I, my my internet's solid, so you hear it right. <laughs> so so I get I get these three strobes. They're all you know um, regular outlet. You know how mm -hmm. you get the strobe now? It's a thick cable, right? Because it's got a lot of power. Now mine was like regular ass boombox cable. You know, into yeah, each funny. of them because it's only sixty watt. And it was the most piece of shit, dude. If you if you went like this on the side of the strobe, wow. you could hear like an echo, bang, you know. And it was a piece of crap with three umbrellas, cheesy wow. little light stands. And I was like, and then, um, yeah, but that's yeah. where I started. Yeah, start, start somewhere. I had a vinyl 
purple vinyl, white vinyl. Oh, dude, I had a white vinyl nine foot mm. roll in my living room. And if you ever had vinyl versus okay. paper, first of all, it's much heavier. So what so happens bad. in the middle if you hang it? Sags, because of the weight. I now in in my studio, I have aluminum uh, poles yeah. through it, right? So it doesn't sag, aluminum right? Pole. That's mm. the trick, everybody. Get mm. aluminum pole right through the right through the cardboard. Um, you mm. know what I'm saying? That makes when you buy it, I fun. did not know that. So I'm in my living room <laughs> trying to invite a model with these crappy strobes. My shit's bent, which causes all sorts of creases, horrible lighting on the back. Dude, it was the, mm. and I still have the photos. So we all start from zero. Yeah. Don't believe anybody. Don't want to mm -hmm. hear it. Lindsay Adler, before she was doing her thing, she was doing yeah. babies and family portraits. You know what I'm saying? We all start mm. somewhere where we'd much rather never visit. You know what mm. I mean? And, um, uh, it, again, it's all about where you where you are, where you're headed yeah. to, where your mindset and your work ethic, right? But boy, I have some photos. <laughs> I'm like, man, dear God, what what are your guys? Let, let's hear some war stories, uh, Anderson. Where's your um, war story at? Tell embarrassing, us dude, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've all been there, man, whole, dude. And then, I, like you said, just trying to jump in, I was ready to just dive in, and I didn't know nothing about how to work these lights, and the pictures came out. Oh, horrible like luckily it was my homegirl and she knew that we, i was just trying to get my practice uh -huh. on but i like but still like it was uh -huh. different because she's like oh you're a great street photographer and at the time i didn't know that it would just be that different you know what i mean so like for me i was like yeah i know how to take pictures it's great but like man i swear to god i had like the same thing with you i bought i bought a light kit from uh mike's camera actually i don't think there was as low as 60 watts though but it was a really cheap it was pro, pro master absolutely pro master, pro master. Huh? And, yeah and, it just I already know which one cutting for me. And I think I had like an old flash point that my boy gave me. But like, I remember I, I knew that I screwed up when he came over one day and we were trying to shoot. And he was just like, I sold you this. I was like, yeah, you sold me this. He was like, yeah. He said, I must have been trying to make some commission or something like that. Because he was just like, dude, these like, bro. And I was like, thanks, man. Like, good looking out, bro. So, but I guess if I wanted to give you a war story, I would, I would probably say uh, falling victim to gas when I first started out, bro. Like, I spent, I had a, a little bit of disposable income and I went crazy on buying light gear. Um, I saw him like, oh, he's wow. shooting with a beauty disc? Oh, I must need a beauty disc. I was like, oh, no, I, I, need, Ooh, I need not knowing that. I don't know how to use none of this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So for, but I'm not, though. So for one <laughs> but you time, got I it, felt though. like I, I wasted my money. But then I had to change that mindset of like, yo, wait a minute. I invested in myself. So I, there's going to come a point when I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I got, I got it all. You know, to uh -huh. all of the toys to do, but realistically, I don't have any war stories yet. They're, they're coming, though. You know what I mean? They're coming. It, I know they're coming. Yeah, you know I mean? He said so they're coming. Huh? Where I know how to, you know, really get it popping. So. Oh, uh, hold on, before Derek, because I want to hear your 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 uh, perspective. We got a question here, if you can see. So, Dooney asks uh, thoughts on Godox. Now, if you're talking about lighting, honestly. They're the best budget lighting you're going to get on the market. They do have expensive brands, the Pro, um, the 8600 Pros and stuff like that for more consistent lighting and faster uh, recycle rates. But in my studio, I have MS300s or AKA Flashpoint Blast 300s. And they are more than enough power. We knocked out the workshop with zero lighting power issues for in-studio, did all the work. Um, but I live and die with Godox. I started off with the 8600, the very first series. And um, and then now I have three of them plus the 8200 and then uh, four MS300s. So it's like, honestly, Godox is real. You can't go wrong. Don't expect to get customer service. No. Unless you want to go yeah. home, take a little freight, right? Wow. Ship your ass over to China. You're not going to get it. That's why you have to be, you have to, uh, pre uh, but honestly, I've had my 8600 smack on the floor. It was up at least six feet outside and it smacked on the floor and it kept on going. I, all I had to do was replace the bulb. So mm -hmm. I think Godoxes are solid. You can buy them everywhere, right? And, uh, and, if you, and if you want some better customer service, get them through an Adorama. 
Shout out to Adorama. Uh, because uh, theirs is called Flashpoint. It's exactly Godox. It just has their brand on it, which is Flashpoint Lighten. And uh, that's the best way to get around the lack of customer service. You, you buy it from an American company. Okay. Um, and so you can use the triggers. The that, triggers are the same. That's right. Too. All the triggers are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, top recommendations for lighting in a small space. MS-300. <laughs> Dooney, MS-300. Godox, MS-300. I live by them. What about the 80? Eighty one hundred, the eighty one hundred pros are nice too. They're yeah, not really they, that powerful, but you know they're good on a pinch. Yeah, but they cost more than this one. Okay, the eight, the MS three hundred is a hundred dollars. Okay, you can't yeah. beat that. And if you're starting sure. out, Dooney, and you just want to experiment, see how you do with studio lighting, a hundred dollars you have, brother. I'm telling you that. The only thing is that um, you you want to get you want to get the tri uh, the trigger which is sold separately. Yes, get that eighty six that Godox three hundred. I could DM you the uh, direct link, okay? Because if you order it on Amazon, you know you help a brother out. You understand? But uh, <laughs> but uh, you want to get the you want to get the wireless transmitter, okay? Um, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna show you the wireless transmitter real quick. Yeah, I started out with a uh, a speed light, a, a, a Godox speed light. It was a oh yeah, it was a eight sixty. So eight sixty was nice. Get this one right here. Make sure it's for Nikon. Mm -hmm. Get the one that with the nice Nikon one. right. Get this one, the X two T trans uh, uh, trigger, and then you can power the ms300 wirelessly you could change the power wirelessly so when you have it up you don't have to keep pulling it down to change the power uh the only negative part is that it's it need it requires a wall you need a wall supply you know it, it comes with the cord but you, you it's not it's not battery powered but for a hundred bucks dude i'm i'm gonna be doing a review video on the ms300 if you are getting into studio for talk uh lighting you cannot beat it Bowen's mount, meaning any damn softbox is going to work with it. Okay? So there you go, Dooney. I hope that helped. Uh, yes, they will have a Nikon trigger, which will work for your Z72. Okay? Yes, I'll send you the direct link after the show. Okay, Dooney? I got you. I got you. I got you. And I very much appreciate it. The little pennies they send me helps keep me going. You know what I mean? Um... And 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 uh, shout out to Dooney. I bumped into him over at the uh, at that uh, Aura casting agency. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I bumped into him there for the first time. I met him face to face. So shout out to him. Thank you for tuning in, Dooney. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate Did we lose Anderson? I, I think I think uh, he's spinning there. He's spinning, man. He's spinning <laughs> like uh, some 1998 rims. <laughs> so I hope he, he could. It's like, I think he's like in purgatory or something. So anyway, let's talk about your Godox. Um, what what Godox lighting do you have? I I have my speed light, obviously. I have that one. That's what I started out with because um, I wanted okay. to get more into flash. Um, I started using that for uh, event photography. Mm -hmm. I was going into like clubs and stuff, and it was uh, good to use, um, especially bouncing that flash off of the off of the ceiling okay so i used that for a little bit because that's all i pretty much had it was it was expensive already as it is so um then i went to a 8400 pro uh, because i didn't think that i needed the 600 i think the 400 would have was uh, pretty good for my my taste and it's not really that big so uh, i used that with the uh with the bowens mount because if you go any lower than the 300, you don't have a Bowens mount. Um, oh, lower than, oh. Yeah, because right? well, they're right. smaller. 200, 80, 100, right? Yeah, you have to get a whole nother bracket for the 200. Um, and that would have been probably around the same price as a 400. Uh -huh. And I would only have uh -huh. one, one uh, 200. So I went with the, I went with the uh, 100. I bought a 100 so I can use that as fill. Um, that was my newest one, but 
uh, I like the 400. If I could bring the 400 around a lot, then I would use that a lot. But unfortunately, you can't bring that around all the time because it's it's still pretty heavy. It's still pretty big. So that one is still pretty big. Yeah, it's still pretty big. Um, it's a it's probably like uh, three fourths of the size of yours. Oh shoot! Yeah, oh, so it's not, like sorry about that. Side, you, oh, <laughs> all right. that's all good. <laughs> I was tapping my, I was tapping my phone so much. I'm about to I, start. I, I touched something and then he, I lost y'all, but I could hear you, but I lost you. So now I'm not touching nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm not touching nothing. Yeah, don't touch <laughs> nothing. No. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, uh, so okay, so yeah, the 8100. I've seen a lot of photographers create some good stuff with it. I'm surprised that little 100 watt flash does so, so much. That's the crazy. only thing, the only thing uh, with it is um, the consistency with the color temperature. Oh, um, really? sh shooting it at full full power because you obviously need to shoot it at full power if you uh, you want to create some kind of uh, I, I would say like specular highlights. Yeah. Uh, um, also, you need a wider uh, aperture lens, so. Uh, to be able to use it any lower power uh, than that. Hey, so, Kita, Amber. Shout out my girl, Amber. Shout out to um, Kita. She, she, out. She, Kita does, uh, Kita uh, went from portraits and now does sports mm. Ooh. photography. Mm. She really in the game doing sports photography. She updated me like a few days ago. Mm. So shout out to her. Good luck. Does she have, your, she have your camera? Because that thing is pretty yeah. quick. Mm. Yeah, that Xenon would be the one. Uh, yeah. Kita, Kita, what 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 camera do you use? Comment down below. Let us know. We're nosy. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm actually using a Godox big old LED light. Right. Yeah. I use a lot of Godox. I should yeah, be. I'm, I'm using, like, I should have like, something with these phones. Standard, right. Because everybody, I keep hearing people talking about Godox. Hmm. Man, they're getting up there, man. I know. Kita, which which camera do you use? Um, so yeah, you know, go, mm. the, the thing is that there, you gotcha. can't beat the price mm -mm. and they, right. they work. You turn them on, they work. Oh, she got the, uh, Nikon Z. <laughs> the hell is that? Seven, two. I'm going to think, I think she's got, uh, is what mm. she's got. So, mm. uh, that's a good Still, portrait. A camera. really good camera. A lot of megapixel action going on. Not action shots. Oh, she does sports like still shots and stuff like that with the Z with the Z seven two. Okay, cool. Copy that. Okay, cool, cool. Shout out to that. That's awesome. When I heard that, I was like, oh, okay. I don't have too many uh, uh, colleagues that are mm -hmm. doing like in the sports realm. I have um, uh, one other person, and I think that's about it. But uh, yeah. everybody else is doing yeah. models and so forth and family. Mm -hmm. But yeah, go to is solid. I got this uh, big one. It's a 160 watt um, LED, which mm -hmm. is nice and soft, as you can see. But I got it for filmmaking too. So they just yeah. make so much stuff that's affordable. How does this conversation <laughs> turn into a Godox a uh, fanboy conversation? <laughs> I mean, because nobody else is oh, talking about brown color uh, or uh, uh, what do you spend, call it? I ain't trying to spend, spend that money. No. I, I, don't, I haven't met anyone yet that has Posse Buff. So how I got put onto them, I don't know. But that's what, what I have. Yeah. yeah. Um, this, the first studio I used to rent from uh, monthly, they were all kitted out with all Paul, Paul C. Buff. But that was right before um, mm -hmm. Godox started coming out, right? And um, their first one was the 8600. And then that yeah. was like everybody's yeah, yeah, mind yeah. went because yeah. it was battery powered and it was wireless. 600 watt. TTL, HSS, you know, high speed sync. Everybody's head was like, and it was, yeah. and it was under a hundred, yeah. six hundred bucks. People were like, yeah, these policy <gasps> bucks, they're expensive for no reason, no reason. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Uh, yeah. You could pop yeah. the tubes all goddamn day because yeah. I've done it. You don't put yeah. on the, yeah. you don't put yeah. on the soft box, right? Click pop. Now. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, key to how the, much is that? How much does it replace the bulbs? the bulbs? Are on a thirty, but they have this little dome that goes over the bone, and for some reason they had the idea to make it out of. Oh glass. yeah, I mean, for the ones that I have, so yeah, there's been plenty mm -hmm. of times taken off. Especially if I was using like that five foot octa, I've broken it a, a few times. I think to replace uh -huh. them is like nine bucks 
for just that glass for the tube i'm sure it's a little bit more so but i'm seeing that they're starting to discontinue a lot of the stuff for the lights that i have and i was like all right well i guess i'm gonna have to be switching over lights so go to hey, you already, uh, you yeah, already no, know I'm go to go to go to game you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing yeah. that I noticed too. So, yeah. And, and here's the mm. thing: when you got the trigger, it works with every mm. damn light they got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come no, on now, up. let's be honest. And uh, so, shout out to Godox, even though they're not going to give me any goddamn love. It's all good. Uh, Kita yeah. says she prefers Godox too. And uh, smart lady stuff. right there, and it's affordable and it's powerful. And uh, for portraits, you can't beat it. You know, some people nitpick about color consistency, like, oh, I, that's why I do pro photo or maybe recycle time. But for what I do, it's never an issue. And, um, you know, with mirrorless okay. cameras, those issues are really minimized because a lot of times you can pre, you can use your uh, spider checker, right? Do I have my spider checker with me? You could use a spider checker and fucking dial in the white balance. No, I don't have it on me. But you could dial in the white balance before your whole shoot using a mirrorless camera mm -hmm. way easier than a DSLR. So a lot of those issues are, you know, they're not, they don't, they're, they're not enough to spend yeah. twice as much on one damn flash. Yeah, no, no. Right. Right. Like that's, Especially that's, if you're not put, shooting at full power. Because if you shoot at full power, it's, it's definitely going to change. I, I, I have the 8600. I never shoot at okay. full power. Like, mm -hmm. why? Why would I need some? In the studio, we were shooting okay. at, uh, I think, a quarter. Yeah. And that's 300 watts. Yeah, see, the I'm watt. 640, <laughs> 640 watts, which is probably way more than I need. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, what I did like about mm -hmm. them was that they had that sports mode. Oh, so yeah. I had a dude jumping, like, doing sports. And then that, that was good because that recycle was pretty, was pretty clean. Uh, but no, unfortunately, um, after Pulsey Buck passed, like the innovation kind of passed too, mm -hmm. you know? So, <clears throat> all right. So let me ask you this. Um, what do you think about these, uh, uh, our, our, our phones, man? This is I don't know, man. It's, are... it's nuts seeing where they, where they first, I remember the first iPhone I had to have the camera. I think that was the 3GS. Um, or maybe in my HTC Evo, mm. but like to see where they are now. Like, yeah, man. I love when I see the people say, Hey, can you tell if this was shot on a five thousand dollar camera or if it was on the iPhone 14? And like, <laughs> unless I'm a professional like you guys, I can hardly tell the difference sometimes. I yeah. know some photographers who can, but like for me, I'm just like they're mm. like, Oh, well, they you see the brief or bur what do they call it? Uh aberrations or something up at the top or what I as I can see oh, that a little uh, that yeah, thing, yeah, yeah chromatic I was like, Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. But like, yeah, no, I think I think it's amazing. Yeah. Um, like, if you don't want to take your everyday camera with you, you have your iPhone, man, and you can just take a nice little picture with your iPhone. So, and I guess there's yeah. some out there that have even better cameras, like some Androids that are even better than the iPhone. So, yeah, yeah. Pixel. We we gonna talk about that. <laughs> we gonna. <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a Apple fanboy no, too. I know. I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah, me um, too. But no, you're right. Absolutely right. Like, uh, I I'm going to Greece uh, next fall, right? And I'm, I'm trust and believe most of my f yeah. will be with the iPhone. I can shoot raw at 40, 48 mm -hmm. megapixel. That's Hello, crazy gentlemen. Right? Mm -hmm. And I can shoot raw video. I, I can shoot uh, Apple, Apple Pro Res with the video. Yeah, Man, I, can... I, I should have got yeah, to have the, terabytes the when I should have got. I took was you know, my iPhone, and then I have I also have a Ricoh GR3, um, which is like one of my favorite, like just for street ooh. photography. If I don't want to take the big Sony, mm -hmm. that that yeah. Ricoh GR3 is amazing. But I usually just take that and my iPhone, and I notice that mm -hmm. I'm using my iPhone more than even the Ricoh GR3. You know, so <laughs> it's it, it pretty soon you're just going to be doing. Well, I know some people who shot full movies on iPhone, so like the technology is just going nuts. You know, I know. The best camera is the one that you already yeah. have in your hand, and that's, uh, unfortunately, uh, that's your phone. Uh, this app he talked about, yeah, I, I downloaded that uh, last week. The Filmic yeah. Pro app yeah. is pretty sweet. You can change manually change all the uh, settings like a like a like a like a camera. Yep, mm, you can really? full control over the camera. That's Wait, right. It's, it's pretty the amazing. The it yeah, it's called. Yeah, yeah, for your video yeah, and photo, the whole shebang. 
And um, yep, and you could shoot like you could control the slow slow mo or the you know the high speed rate. And uh, but it's called a Filmic Pro. Well, if you're if you're a uh... If your phone only shoots at uh, 60 frames per second in 4K, can it go up any higher than that? Well, I, technically it does. Oh, in 4K? Yeah. Oh, no. Because I, I, can't, I can't change it. Like, if I'm using cinematic mode, it would it be can only HD. Go, and be I HD. think the higher, the higher you go, it'll, it'll pot, I think it does, like, maybe 300, mm. but it'll be at 720. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, that's, that's how they do it. So, like, so <clears throat> to get that frame rate higher. Does that make sense? Because that's a lot mm. of processing. Right, right, right. Otherwise, everybody would have been at 4K 120 a long time ago. I thought, but, I thought they had the M1 chip in the in the new uh, iPhones. Is it different or what? I don't know, but still 120. Look how size of your phone yeah. is, right? 120 frames a second at 4K, which is three to four times larger than HD. Yeah, it is. God damn, that's a lot of info. It is. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. think people would know what to do with it. You know, they don't know what to do with the shitty photos they take now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Put it on Instagram. That's for sure. You know, what I'm saying. <laughs> so uh, one thing I use, shout out to Amazon, is um, Amazon Photos. If you have Amazon Prime, you download. Yeah. Okay, I like that face you're making there, Anderson. Mm -hmm. You download Amazon Photos app. It's free as shit. Really? Unlimited <laughs> upload JPEGs. If you have Amazon, yeah, have Amazon Prime, Prime, you already had access to it. And so I put, okay. I use auto upload. As soon as you hit Wi-Fi, you upload, it uploads all the photos to the app. You got to turn on, you know, go to the app. And then freaking, um, that's where I store it all. Okay. And then I delete all the photos. So that's why, I, yeah, when it hits about 250, I'm like, yo, there's too many. Even though that's not a lot. Like, right. it just, I just don't want to keep writing that all in my notes. So that's what I do. Okay. Amazon Photos, man. See, there you go. <laughs> See, I told you the learning doesn't stop just yeah, because you left the workshop. No idea, uh, uh, the, so Dooney says they, they put the silicon chip in iPhone. Oh, wait. they put the, I'm not sure if they put the M1 chip in there. I love my Mac Mini with the chip. The performance is incredible. Yes, I got the uh, I got my laptop, too. My Air. Where the fuck I'm gonna say it's about, that? I'm I need to update. Here. Like minus right. minus two thousand thirteen. Right. I, uh, <laughs> I tried to download something because they have that, the new OS. Yo, yo, mm -hmm. yo! I'm telling you right now, this was the steal. Okay, uh, I think it's two thousand twenty-one okay. version, but M1 chip, right? Thirteen inch. I mean, it's gonna fit in every damn backpack, laptop bag you got. Because I used Too to have big, a 17 yeah. inch, couldn't go anywhere with that thing. M1 chip, okay, solid state, all that good shit, thin as hell. Really? Nine. 900 bucks for a Mac. For a Mac. The refurbished? That's, huh? Brand Is it refurbished? Out the box yeah, at Best okay. Buy. What? Yeah, but hey, scratch that. I Amazon, okay. I'll give yeah, you the Mine is a 2015. It's on this last Hey, I'm just. Dude, look up, man, 900 yeah. bucks for a Mac? Man, yeah. I was like, give me that. that. <laughs> yeah, I can dig that because I, I was like, I'll only be using that. it for photos anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Dude, I've edited video on it, uh, photos for sure. Only thing I keep on there is uh, Lightroom and, um, 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 and, and, uh, and Premiere, Adobe Premiere, mm -hmm. right? I yeah. don't want it to be bogged down with tons of programs. But if mm -hmm. I'm on the go, I'm for sure using Lightroom. Um, the, it's a great fucking. I'd buy it again for sure. When nine, it was it yeah, was nine hundred. Yeah, I, I would jump on Black Friday. I didn't even think about it. That's a steal. Jump on the Black Friday way. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know what it would have been, but by now, because it's an older model, it probably would have been cheaper. But the point is that Max are at a under thousand dollar price oh, range, yeah. and it's you're more than fine. Send that link too. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll say I'll look it up for you, Dooney, man. I'll send that to you, uh, cause he's he said that's less than his M1, M1. iPad. Damn. He said it's less. This is cheaper than his iPad. Wow, that's what's up. So that's yeah, what I'm expensive. saying. Yeah, was, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. And dude, this I use it for everything. Um, 
you guys know that I do content marketing like during the daytime. So like I do all my work on it. I do everything on this thing and it's such a good price. Anyway, that wasn't the point. I wasn't <laughs> trying to be dropping no damn apple on this talk. Now, before I, I, I realized, I realized I need a, a new computer once I started putting the files off of my oh. GFX on my computer. Oh. There's 105 megabyte files on the on the computer. It takes uh, like maybe like five or six minutes. Mm. Usually, yeah. take like wow. a minute. That's, That's and don't shoot over a hundred. If you shoot over a hundred, you sitting there yeah. for a good thirty minutes. I'm to <laughs> Honestly, that's. That's nuts. Yeah. And uh, even with the Z9, I don't shoot at full. I shoot at like the second full, high, high, high efficiency plus or some shit. Mm -hmm. And um, because I just don't want to deal with the file. Uh, and for what I'm using it for, most of the time it's for the model's website, social media, et cetera. And then, um, so yeah, I don't want to hog up. I have right here, I have three, eight terabyte hard drives right here. And that's just what I'm using now. And then I have a bunch Jeez. of four terabytes in my drawer. So <laughs> I don't want to keep spending yeah. money on this. Well, I mean, we're going to have to, but yeah. I don't want to anytime soon. You know what I mean? So now when it comes to uh, the workshop, okay, we're going to keep it real, brother. Okay. Keep it real, gentlemen. Okay. Because I want people to know that, like, like kind of what you mm -hmm. said, Anderson, like I'm human. I have faults, right? A lot of times I call up there and say, yo, what can I do better? What do you think? How about this idea? You know, I'm always trying to level up. So what do you think could have helped produce more value for, for the experience mm. of attending my workshop? What could I have done better? Um, yeah, I love feedback. Hmm. Trust me. I mean, I think you, I think you touched on this earlier. Like, uh, I don't, I, I mean, I don't think you did anything not good. So like I, just what you were saying, like going deeper into like like the basics, if, if you will. You know what I mean? Or or maybe even asking okay. like, kind of the question you just asked me now is where are you in your photography right now? Where are you and where do you want to go? You know mm. what I mean? Like like, like something something Copy. like that. And uh, that. but you okay. kind of touched on it when you when you said that earlier about like just going down to the basics and slowing down or whatever okay. what have you. But like me, I love it fast paced. But like if I had to give any critique. Which I wouldn't. I use. I don't. I use critique. That's the wrong choice of word. But but yeah. No. Nah, just kind of like doing that. Like, hey, where are you at in your photography right now? You know what I mean? Like, just kind of getting the gauge of what okay. it is. Or what do you know? Are you familiar with this? Do you know the uh, the exposure triangle? Do you know like you know what I mean? What do you know photography? What? Yeah. What do you yeah, know? What do, what do you want to learn? Know? What are you struggling with? Okay. You know what I mean? Things like that. You know. Okay. Okay. I like That's that question. Okay, thank thank you everybody who's popping in here, Aries and B Bassoon, a pooper. <laughs> uh, I know I messed that up. I know I messed it up, but trust me, I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Is that in. Uh, bass Derek, on a pooper? What'd you say? Bass on a popper? Don't, don't let's let's not even <laughs> go there right now. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, R D H D N V. Shout out to you. And soul healing. Uh, thank God I know how to say that. Shout out to you too. Thank you, everybody. Now, Derek, same question. Um, and I won't can cancel tomorrow for you keeping it real. No. <laughs> uh, I'd say probably spacing out the the workshop okay say like if you had like a a workshop uh mm. retreat you know mm. if you had like a couple of days where you get a chance to talk to people and people can actually get a chance to uh work with the models and get to know the models uh network with each other um say mm. a a, uh, a nice area maybe um i mean i see a, i see a a little bit of that going around and i think that's a really good market to get into but okay uh destination workshops des destination workshops uh because then i mean there's a lot of information there you know uh if you ask a question there's always another question so um you know spreading it out letting people kind of understand especially if you're just starting yeah. you probably need a little bit more time 
uh, also maybe uh, have two workshops in within a week. I know it's probably a lot to do, a lot to do, but two workshops within a week of two of two different. You know, if somebody wants to go to the next workshop, they can go to the next workshop. Uh, but that uh, first work, uh, workshop is for the people that want to get into it. And then that way, the next mm. workshop is a more of a flow type deal. You know what I'm saying? You, what do you mean by flow? Help me understand what you mean. Because once you already have that information in your head and you're already starting to understand, oh, the, it, 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 it sucks. Yeah, it sucks to get cut off after that. Uh -huh. You know, Of course, you want to go out and you want to do it all yourself. But at the same time, you want to get as much as you possibly can within that within the time frame. So, so you're saying one would be almost like an intro we go over a lot of stuff a lot of theory and then mm -hmm. the second day we just fucking shoot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's totally doable this is this is why i invested in my own space derek you know best mm -hmm. is that so i could provide these opportunities yeah. and not have to ask anybody for me to pull this off right so these are great Great, and I appreciate your feedback, uh, Anderson, because that was, I kind of felt that way too, and I wanted to dive mm -hmm. more into not only your guys' background, but to make sure that I'm, I'm really digging into the weeds as to where you need to improve for me to help you. And then uh, that's why I was like, all right, let me slow down the process, go more into exactly what it is I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and then... Um, uh, so I appreciate hearing all this, really, because it, it just helps me. It yeah, helps me absolutely. to improve. Does that make sense? <clears throat> and and um, yeah, I think we for sure we all got pumped. We're getting juiced. We're feeding off each other's vibe, yeah. and we're, we're just kind of just going at it. And it's like you know, I want to make sure we're, uh, we're solving some problems that you have. Mm -hmm. that make There's a lot of misinformation. Sense. Just like uh, when you watch a movie for the first time, you don't see the whole movie yeah. because you're excited about the, first, the movie first and time, huh? the first time, and then you go yeah. watch it again. You you like, oh, I missed that, right? So that's why I'm. That's why I kind of bring up the the retreat or a, a little bit longer of a, a workshop. Okay, um, that would actually help. Uh, some people grow within um, what they actually want to do and okay. then find out if mm. that's actually what yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. want to do, you know? Mm. Uh, because if you want to get into uh, portrait work or you want to get into like fashion and whatnot, you you might find out some things that you like, maybe that's not really what I, you know, want to do. It took, like, uh, if you get into it and you're like, oh yeah, I, I could do it. And then you get into it, like you go into like a, a like a fashion event or something like yeah. that, and you realize real quick that, uh, oh, well, you know, maybe I wasn't quite ready for that, you know? But, so Okay, all right. No, that's, I mean, that's important. I, I yeah. think solid. Uh, yeah, you don't want to feel like, oh, wow, I thought I was ready, and I'm not, you know? Mm -hmm. and But I do say so at the beginning. Hey, yeah. I don't, you know... This is a process, mm -hmm. um, and and like anything, you, after you, you you see your father walk, you got to put your own little legs yeah. out there and fall a few times, and, and just looking at you know, and then rinse and repeat, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of like when I, um, like when I help people with marketing, it's like, look, you have to plan, research, execute, fail, repeat, and keep doing it over and over. Um, so no, you're you're absolutely right. I, I you gave me a good idea though. The retreat yeah. sounds kind of legendary. <laughs> I think if I could if I could get a couple models, I think I uh, uh, I gotta think of somewhere nice, mm. maybe something in Napa or like uh, Marin somewhere mm. nice. Get do an Airbnb, mm. right? Mm. And then I could do like one eve like a Friday evening. We can just talk, get to know each other, shoot all day f mm. Saturday, dinner. And then, like, a morning shoot on Sunday. That'd be yeah. pretty intense. That's an intensive. That's one of those, mm -hmm. you ever heard those photography intensives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an intense. No, that's a three-day intense. Like, mm -hmm. flash and natural lighting, like, within the Airbnb. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Shoot out, shoot in the backyard, shoot natural light in the backyard, shoot artificial yeah. indoor, how to mm -hmm. mix the two between artificial ambient lighting. Uh, stuff like that, and I, I, I that would be a very, I think, could be a very powerful yeah. workshop. 
Um, so, so Derek, you're giving me some some butter. We're gonna have to talk about that tomorrow. Pull that off. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Well, we have. We're like right after seven o'clock. I do want to say how much I appreciate you both yeah, appreciate for you for jumping me. on uh, this call. Well, I. I I appreciate your feedback. You said a few things. I was like, damn, you know what? No, I, did, I think he really took something really away. Let's, let's see if he's interested. You know, I really appreciate it. And yeah. feel free to DM me or, or Derek. Um, if yeah. you have any questions, lighting or whatever, you yeah, know, it's, it is saying. a community, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's a community, man. Trust me. I get the, I, I get the, I get the messages all day. <laughs> what you see here is yeah. what I get regularly. Right. You know what I mean? I don't. People ask you questions. And uh, and uh, and it's all love. Um, with that said, uh, feel free to tag tag me. Yeah. Let me know what you're up to. Okay, I love to see your progress. And and Derek, I'm gonna see you tomorrow morning anyway. We got a TV <laughs> to install, so uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm kind of nervous. Yeah. I'm always nervous putting stuff okay. on the wall. I don't want it to like we live, live in San Francisco. I don't. Uh... Like for real, like we need to bolt that yeah. to the wall, like concrete wall. Dude, we're gonna bolt that thing but i got everything so we should be good uh it says it holds up to 75 pound a uh, 75 inch tv so mm. this one's only 55 so i should be good in terms of like weight yeah, you know um what else is there that's i guess that's really about it oh remember everybody um i'm going live as i said earlier on youtube december 18th in the morning live photo shoot with fashion designer Lauren Lee Couture. Okay. She's phenomenal and she's gorgeous too. So that never hurts. And we're going to do a fashion shoot at the beginning of the live show. And I'm going to go through and explain everything. And then uh, what I'm doing and, you know, our shoot and just okay. some antics also, I'm sure. And then we're going <laughs> to sit down and talk with her afterwards. So if you want to, you know, that'll be cool. That'll be at 1130 in the morning, Saturday, Pacific. That means Cali time, West Coast, baby. And then, um, so hopefully you guys tune in for that on my YouTube channel. If you want to know my YouTube link, everybody who's watching right now, go to my bio, click the link in my bio, and then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Much appreciated because um, every every penny counts out here. Pennies turn into dollars. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. means I can keep bringing you the juice and paying for gorgeous right. models to show up to our <laughs> workshop. So there you go. <laughs> uh so with that said, gentlemen, thank you very much. And thank you to all the viewers who, who stopped by. Until next time, keep shooting, Peace. stay creative. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.